Hello there. Here you can see a spider robot. I made this spider robot using a DIY kit from Acebot. This bot can be controlled via smartphone using their Wi-Fi app. It can move, do push up, twist, turn, fight, etc. We can program the spider bot using Acecode graphical drag and drop platform and also with the Arduino IDE. It uses only a lithium ion battery for powering the circuit and we can charge that using a USB cable. So in this video, I will show you the complete details of this Acebot QD020 DIY Spider Kit. Let's get started with this video. So the kit comes in this box. Inside the box, we got the Acebot sticker, servos, acrylic parts, expansion board, controller, nuts and bolts, USB Type-C cable, screwdriver and a couple of wire ties. After opening each pack, you can see the components. Here is the expansion board. It has headers for connecting the servos. Also on the back side, you can see the 18650 battery holder. Here is the controller. It uses the ESP8266 as the brain. It sent every nuts and bolts packed separately and that makes easy assembly. The kit uses MG90S Metal Gear servos and that gives better performance. Before starting the assembly, go to easeboard.com. Then go to tutorials and download the spiderboard tutorial from there. After downloading the file, let's start it. Then open the tutorial section. Everything explained here with the proper images. So follow this for assembling the board. So let's start the assembly by peeling off the acrylic protective cover. Then place and screw the expansion board to the acrylic piece. Next place the four servos to the acrylic sheet. Remember to place the servo shaft towards the outside. Next place the servo attachment which has a cut to this acrylic piece using the servo screws. Now take the L-shaped acrylic piece and insert the bolt inside the slot and hold like this. Then insert the previous piece and tight it with the bolt. Then do the same for the opposite side. Please refer the images on the tutorial. Similarly, assemble all the four pieces. But please remember two of them are should be in the opposite direction. In the next step, insert the legs on the servos. Here also two of them are opposite direction. Now connect the node MCU to the computer. Now once again go to aceboard.com. Then download and install the Acecode software from resource section. After installing the Ace code, open the software. You can get the complete details from the tutorial section. Now click on the expansion menu and add the spider robot from there. Now you can see the spider robot functions. You can drag and drop the functions and make your own codes. You can also download the codes from the tutorial section. By the way, I am going to use the app controlling code. Here you can see the code. Every step is explained with the labels. Now select the port and board as ESP8266 and then upload the code. You can do this step after assembling the board also. Now I place the controller in the expansion board. Here we need to add a 18615 battery. The battery is not included in the kit but you can use a generic one. Now connect the four servos to the header pins. Connection diagram is also available in the tutorial. Remember to place the brown wires towards the outside. Now attach the previously assembled parts and servos to the main body.
then connect the other servos to the PCB. After connecting all the servos, turn on the spider port. Now adjust the servos like this. Adjusting means not by turning the servos, but remove the attachment and reposition like this. After positioning board like this, then fix the servos using screws. Now arrange the wires using wire ties and close it with the top cover. After turning on the board, board should hold this position. If not, you have to readjust the positions. Now our assembly is completed and let's download the Aceboard app from Play Store. After installing, turn on the board and connect to its Wi-Fi. The default password is 128. Then open the app and select the spider robot. Then select control. Now click on connect. After that we can play with the spider robot. Nice, the board works perfectly. We can make custom movements and gestures using a code software and learn the basics. We can charge the board by just connecting the USB cable to the board. So all in all, this spider robot from Aceboard is a perfect DIY kit for beginners and professionals. The provided high quality tutorial makes the assembly and learning more fun and easy. So I recommend this kit to all of you. You can find the link from the video description to check it out. So that's all about for today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.